you guys think he's kind of hot? I think both of you guys are so really hot, here, but he's single. So you're here to have your eyes checked, obviously, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, I'm a little nervous, but you, obviously you know why I'm here. You guys are going to play real operations. Yes. With any type of surgical procedure, there's always risks. And just like everybody else, you get a little bit of anxiety. It is under a general anesthesia, and you never know. How are you? I'm good, buddy. You know what's weird? Normally, I sleep really well before surgery. Of course, but I didn't sleep at all. It wasn't so much the anxiety, it was the massive hangover that got me. <laughs> all kidding aside, let's talk about what we're going to do, OK? So just so you, you guys know, he has an incarcerated umbilical hernia. I've done this operation, what, 10,000 times? This is a little bit different for me, all right? Right? You're my partner, you're my buddy, you're my best buddy, right? I want to make sure this is good for you. Of course. Operating on a friend is different than operating on someone you don't know very well. But once I get into the surgical mode, I forget that it's Paul. I forget that I love the guy, and at the end of the day, I'm going to do everything by the book, and he's going to get my A game. You know I love you. Of course. I'm not kidding, right? Thank you. Eh? Give me a I'm gonna take care of you, all right? You know when you call me a flying squirrel and you grab my neck? Bing, 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 bing. You could be a flying squirrel. Come here, take a look. <laughs> you had surgery? <laughs> you had surgery? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just went and had a deep plane face left to left then 24 hours ago. Terry keeps making fun of me with that neck. Oh, you blamed me for your facelift. Don't even try to blame your desire to have cosmetic surgery so, on me. Paul, I tell you to grow thicker skin, but I don't want to be responsible for your next surgical procedure. Well, that maybe well, you can try you. it on yeah. later. Yeah. <laughs> so I would stuff one side with two chicken cutlets. Wait a minute. You stuffed your bra with chicken cutlets? <laughs> Raw chicken breast. No. <laughs> and then he tells me, now you're going to have to wear a yoga mat. What do you mean, wear a yoga mat? Wrap yourself in it. Oh, so that wasn't normal? No. no. What comic book character would you think he would be? Wolverine. I feel like you have a nice, like, furry chest under there. I love furry chests. Really? Galaxy realness. What? Galaxy realness? Yes. yes. You're trying to, like, portray something. It's realness. So, like, he's from the galaxy realness. What? Hi, to meet you. Did you say hello, Yes, I did. Who do you think, just looking at us, could do more oh. push-ups? I think Dr. Nassif will tell you. <laughs> I think so. Please. You know, if you're not nice, I'm going to make them get up and teach you how to do the dubkey. The oh, what? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so, so look at these guns. No doubt, Melissa can bench more than I can. A lot more than Terry. You guys think he's kind of hot? I think both of you guys are really so you're hot, here, but he's single. So you're here to have your eyes checked, obviously, right? <laughs> do you know who people are saying I look like? The Pope. Hey, look at that nose. In the forehead, wow. Is he larger in real life? No, I think smaller. Yes, smaller. When I first saw him, I remember thinking, man, that guy is so cute. But I noticed something was going on with his nose. So to find out that he had actually had a surgery already, I was like, oh, so you broke it and then had a surgery and it still looks kind of funky? Like, maybe we should get that checked out. But I didn't want to say anything until, you know, I knew him a little better. We've been together going on five years now, and we're moving into, you know, that next stage in life. And, well, I'm hoping so. It's on my vision oh. board, you know. A little oh. Yeah, I noticed that she was like this. You know, uh, no. um, There's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and to my family, like, poke fun at him a little bit. It so almost I know sounds like you do a little bit, too, I have a feeling. I definitely point it out, and he gets pretty frustrated with me. God! <laughs> it's his parlor trick. Do that, dude, and look how wide and fat it is. Go ahead and push it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. exactly. He's By the way, the he's imitating time. his ex-wife, just so you know. With oh. <laughs> so, what you <laughs> <laughs> so, really, you do that to him? I do. God, that's, that's not that cool. Yeah, it's Thank not you. the coolest of me. Thank you. I, I know. Thank you, Kristen, for reminding me of why I'm single. Should I first get on the table and do a table dance? You might like that. <laughs> I would like that. Comedy has helped me to get through a lot of this. If I was to sit and really think about everything I've been through, I would boohoo cry all the time. 
But hey, George Burns lived to 100 laughing, so maybe that'll work for me. Dr. Nass is gonna examine your left side while okay. I do your right, and then yeah. we'll switch. I'm double gonna be team. double teamed. Yes. Wow. Okay. My doctor's at that. That's right. <laughs> I've come a long way, baby. I have a question <laughs> for you. Son. Since Son. you have the truth serum going on right now, Raji, uh, who's better looking, Dr. Debro or Dr. Nassa? Well, you know what's funny? I'll tell you. I'm a girl that likes, like, all types. And I think I'd be attracted to, like, both of you. Like, you have, both of you have, like, different, different appeals. This is like a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> you slip and yeah. fall when you look at boy, it. Boy, even yeah. under some anesthesia, you're politically correct. Yeah. Look at this. Look at her. You're so she sweet. Look at them. Like, well, she you each have office. your own different characteristics. She could definitely run for office. How much do we love the Roger? Oh. Huh? Yeah. You, you are know we adore sweet you. sweet person. Yes, huh? I'd love you know we're here because I'd we love. want to help you. Yes, I love, I love both of you. But oh, me a little more. Mm -hmm. Admit it. Me, see? Oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. She goes, oh, don't say that. Dr. Dubrow, a little more, right? Dr. Dubrow. Um, yeah, but I don't want to make Dr. Nasa feel bad. Oh, look at her. I want Dr. Nasa to feel loved, too. Oh. Trust me. He's got yeah. enough self-love for, <laughs> for days. What the heck would you do if you broke your hand? Temporary thing, you mean, or kind of a permanent? If you couldn't be a surgeon, you know what I'd be? Yeah, you'd be a friggin' stand-up comedian is what you'd be. You'd be an underwear model. No, restaurant business. Not all that time you spend in the mirror. Okay, you well, visualize yourself in one of those catalogs yeah. with the package going. The package going. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Medically speaking, Paul has a reverse body dysmorphia. What he sees in the mirror is actually way better than what we actually see in real life. If I had his mirror, I'd probably feel like I was Brad Pitt. How many hours a day do you spend in the mirror? You asked me what I was doing. How did that go from looking at my package in the mirror and all that kind of stuff? I just think you secretly want to be an underwear model. How long have you guys been together? Um, Two years, almost. Yeah, I told him right from the beginning that I was very fascinated by big and, you know, long blonde hair and everything like that. And he was like, all right, well. <laughs> that that <laughs> I, I can live with that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was actually really, really goth when I met him. Yeah, I just started one year ago to transform myself. It's called bimbofication. Bimbofication? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we hear the word bimbo, we think of someone who just is very stupid. I don't want to be an airhead, but basically what it is is to look like a male fantasy, like, you know, have a bit of a blow doll look. I want to look like a f doll, but I don't want to be a f doll. And I know that is very contradictory, but I feel like my body is, is a, a form of art. You consider yourself a himbo to a certain degree, don't you? He starts by shaving his back. Uh-huh. And then he does various procedures to himself to enhance I what's like lacking, if you know what I mean. Right Terry, yes, I know I'm handsome, but I have brains. I'm not a himbo.